teacher Ibrahim. This is the 13th lesson whereby we are going to conduct the test for facts, practical, and uh, we are going to use the second method that is oil emulsion method. For oil emulsion method, all that I need is the substance to be tested. That is my substance here. I also need to have some ethanol. This is ethanol. I think you are able to see it. And apart from ethanol, I'm also supposed to have distilled water. Procedure number one. Put two centimeter cubed of the substance to be tested in a test tube. This is my test tube. This is the substance that I'm supposed to test. I'm just going to pour it directly here because I'm, I'm sure of the measurements. Mm -hmm. Procedure number two, add two centimeter cubed of ethanol into the solution. Remember, ethanol has ability to dissolve fats so if fats is present in this solution, ethanol will dissolve it so that it will be able to, uh, uh, it will be suspended onto water that I'm going to add in it. I've already put two centimeter cube here. I'm adding two centimeter cube of ethanol. Let me take the measuring cylinder. I'm only going to put two centimeter cube of the same. Uh -huh, there we go too much let me reduce it a little bit mm -hmm. just trying to reduce it so that it's two centimeter cubed there we go that is my two centimeter cubed ethanol I'm adding ethanol to this solution upon adding ethanol I'm supposed to shake that is procedure number three when that happens ethanol is going to dissolve the fats and it's uh, since fats is slight uh, is less denser than ethanol the ethanol is going to occupy the lower space as the fats um, or the oils maybe are uh, going to occupy the upper part procedure number three add two centimeter cubed of distilled water i have distilled water here as i told you earlier i'm going to add let me wash it first because I've already used it. I'm adding two centimeter cubed of water. There we go. Let me just reduce it a little bit. Oh, that's too much. Let me add some more. Good. This is two centimeter cubed of water. I'm adding it to the solution. Remember, we are adding this because water is, den is uh, denser than than fats and ethanol is soluble in water and when I add ethanol is going to dissolve in the water remember I'm supposed to shake then give it time to settle I'm giving it time to settle let us just see I want you to observe what is going to happen in a, in a very close range just try to see what's going to happen when you look at this uh, setup in a very close range, you will realize that there are two layers which are being formed. The bottom layer which comprises of both water and ethanol, followed by a layer of uh, the suspension, that is now the oil or fats which was present in the solution. Since this oil uh, is denser than water, then it is suspended on the topmost part, hence a uh, greasy ring is present on the upper part. Therefore, that confirms that whatever substance that we are testing comprised of fats. Then that is a positive, uh, positive result. On the other hand, I'm going to carry out a negative result so that we compare the two. Let me just use water. Mm -hmm. Let me put two centimeter cube. Let me reduce it a little bit. Two centimeter cube of water. Then let me add some ethanol. Two centimeter cubed as well. This is ethanol. Two centimeter cubed. 
I've measured it here. I've added it to the solution. Then I'm adding two centimeter cubed of water as well, just the way I did in the first one. Then we can see the difference. This is the negative result, and this one is a positive result. For the positive result, on my right hand, there is a layer of fats which is formed on the upper part, hence the term oil emulsion test. Oil has been suspended on the upper part. Then for the positive result, we say that there's a, there's a, a greasy ring which forms on top of, this, of the solution. So that being the end of this topic of uh, this lesson, as much as we've been talking about this, I would just like you to remember to watch the videos that I've just posted and please continue watching because you'll still have some more coming your way and please do not forget to like and subscribe even if it's possible you can tap that notification bell up there so that in case I post another new video you will be informed thank you so much thank you for viewing